Oh, boogie right. man Ben coming round the band is boogie man Ben. Is boogie man Ben. Greetings, fellow Fred Fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be talking about uh, the awesome time I had at the East Bay Comic Con where I got to meet uh, Tom G. Waits, who played Windows and John Carpenter's The Thing. He's also been in films like The Warriors, he was on the show Oz. I uh, had a blast meeting him. Also got to hang out with my buddy John Russell. Just had a great day. Um, yeah, um, I've been going to this con pretty regularly lately. I went last year and uh, I've gone in years past. Uh, I met D. Wallace at one of them. I met PJ Souls at another one of them. Um, but this one was really important to me because John Carpenter's The Thing um, is one of my favorite movies of all time. And like I said in my last video where I showed off this amazing shirt from Cavity Colors that I was so grateful that I got before this show, um, that uh, it is my comfort movie. It's a movie that I really love to watch in the wintertime um, just because it's it's a, it's a, you know, a cold climate and when it's cold outside and you're under your warm blanket, it just, I don't know, for some reason, like I said, it's my chicken soup. It's something that just really, really, you know, it relaxes me in some weird way, but um, really was excited to meet Tom and what an awesome guy he was. Um, I just had him sign uh, the Screen Factory Blu-ray. Um, you know, he, um, you know, got to talk to him a lot, found out some cool things about the character of Windows that he actually came up with the name for the character. Originally, he said the character's name was like Santiago or something like that. Then it was like John Smith. And he said he had those glasses um, and he asked John Carpenter if it was okay if he named the character Windows. And John Carpenter thought about it for a little bit and said, yeah, you can name him that. So that's that's why he came up with that name. He said that some of the like some of the the lines that I remember and I was quoting to him. I ain't going with Windows. I ain't going with it. I'm going with child. Hey, fuck you, Palmer. I'm going with you. Who says I want you going with me? All right, what the bullshit? That was like all improvised, which was just, that was so cool to hear about. And he was just so nice to my friend John and I. And um, couldn't have been a cooler guy. And like I said, I just had him sign this. So I'll showcase the signature and I'll showcase it up close at the end. But there's his signature right there. Tom G. Waits, Windows. Um, what an amazing experience. One of the best uh, con experiences I've ever had. He was there with a lot of the cast from The Warriors, which is a film that I have seen, but I'm not as big into it as some other people are. But it's still a cool movie, and uh, they really had a nice... Uh, everything at the con was really nice. They had it set up really nice for all the actors, and they were just at a show yesterday down in Los Angeles. So they all looked like they were pretty tired. And But uh, like I said, Tom couldn't have been nicer, and uh, it was an honor to meet him. And... Uh, told me and John, my friend John, to, to follow him on Instagram and everything. So we're going to do that. Uh, we made kind of a new friend. And like I said, his character, Windows, is my one of my favorite characters in the film. And I told him that because it's 100% true. After Ch Childs and McCready and Windows have always been my favorites. So yeah, what an honor meeting him. An icon. First person I've ever met from John Carpenter's The Thing. And uh, yeah, it was a terrific experience. And sharing that with my good friend John Russell was was amazing as well. Got a couple of things too that I'll showcase. Just a couple of um, like a poster and a print. Um, didn't spend too much money, but got these from the same seller. And I wish I had the card with me. If I can find the card or the name of the seller, I'll put it down below here. But I don't believe I picked up one of their cards. But uh, got this amazing uh, Jeepers Creepers uh, print of Jonathan Breck as the Creeper. And uh, my friend John spotted this one um, and said, oh, this one's pretty badass. And I'm like, yeah, I got to pick that up. And this was only 10 bucks. So I'm probably going to get a frame for that. Um, again, it comes down to space. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going to put it? But uh, I just really love this. It's one of my favorite images of uh, Jonathan as the Creeper. I've seen it before. Um, I've actually used it in some videos before, but uh, never seen a print like this. And this is really like a uh, high quality. Uh, the sellers were just amazing. And the other item I bought, now this one was pretty special and this was the last thing I got. So everybody knows, <laughs> it's the, I don't know why I kind of remind you guys every time I do a video, but 
Salem's Lot is my favorite film. We lost uh, one of my uh, I, one of the icons from that film, one of my heroes, Lance Kerwin, just a couple weeks ago. It just will be two weeks this coming Tuesday. And um, one of the things I've always loved about the character of Mark was his room, and that was something that always stuck out to me as a kid, that he had all these horror models and posters and things like that. And there was one poster in that film that always stuck out to me, and it was the uh, Frankenstein poster that he had. You can see it. It's right by his door to his bedroom. There's like a shelf next to it. And uh, I'll include images here of what it looks like, but I found that exact poster at that same booth that had that Jeepers Creepers print, and here it is. So this is something that just, I was like, wow, what are the odds that I would find this? I've never seen this poster before in my life. So I don't know, you know, if it was just luck, but uh, found this one just going through posters as John, John was looking at uh, some of the images there, my friend John. And I saw this and I was like, fuck, I need to get that. So um, yeah, not bad, 20 bucks. Uh, big thing for me is gonna be finding a spot for it. But yeah, it was a great day. It was something I needed. I had a lot of fun. I uh, didn't do a lot of video footage. A lot of these artists are really fussy about, you know, you taking pictures of what they have, especially the ones that are, you know, selling their drawings and things like that. So I'm always respectful of that. And like I said, it was just a fun day. It was something that uh, really made me happy and was really great to share this day with a good friend. And I can't wait to, for us to get together again. We're talking about there's a lot of cool stuff coming up this summer. Um, there's the Creepy Con. They're going to do a special Night of the Living Dead event that's going to be at the Creepy Con as well as the Arenda Theater. That's the first weekend of August, I believe. And then we also have Sinister Creature Con, which is coming up earlier than that. It's coming up in June. Some amazing people. Nancy Allen. You got uh, Jeffrey Combs. Of course, Nick Castle. And John and I are planning to meet up at that as well. So yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for the support. And I promise I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. I've uh, been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.